Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony, and today I'll be showing you how to make a simple Ask FM background so that you can just make your Ask look that little bit more personalised and make it your own instead of grabbing an image off of Google and having to put up with that. So, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Open and we're going to open up our uh, template. The link will be in the description below so that you have the same dimensions and everything as mine, you don't have to search around for everything. So what we've got here is our simple Ask FM background. You'll notice that we've got three layers here. We've got the Hintergrund, which is the background with the Ask FM toolbar. Then we've got the Ebony Free, which is the box in the middle, which will be... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh, oh caught me out there. It's the um, Gradient style background. And then Ebony 2, or however it's pronounced, I think it might be German, so... I have no clue, um, is the white box where you have all your asks and things in there. Um, so what we do is we simply just gonna open up an image, I'm gonna get an image, I've got mine off of Tumblr, but I'm not entirely sure um, where, or I, ca I can't give you the link to the specific image, but I can give you a link to my Tumblr and it should be somewhere in there because it is a really lovely picture. It, the colours on it are just brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move it along a bit and then we're going to drag the image behind the um, ask box as it were. And we're just going to move it along till the image ends. So there we go, snaps in place perfectly. And we're just going to quickly name this um, back ground clouds just so we know what it is then we're oh, gonna right click it and we're gonna duplicate layer we're gonna click OK it doesn't matter what one this is named because we're gonna merge the two backgrounds together in a minute so we're gonna go edit we're gonna go transform and we're gonna go flip horizontal then we're just gonna hold shift and drag the image along till we get to the end of the page and then we go we have a flip image and it looks really nice so now as you can see we've got this horrible little grey bar that runs along the top and it just looks odd so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the colour picker tool and just get the darkest colour nearest colour to the edge so we can make an easy transition so it looks like one simple image has gone through the background so once we've got the colour picker tool down we're going to just select the box it's probably best to run along that line and we're going to get the paintbrush and we're just going to fill it in bang bish bash bosh oh, problem is you want to get close to the edge so that you don't start messing up the image like I did then without really noticing so there we go quick box obviously this is a quick tutorial so it's not going to look perfect but in actual fact it doesn't look too bad quite a simple transition you can't really tell if you're going to fit on screen it just looks like one simple image so that first of all is a brilliant start that's a brilliant base background so what we're going to do is we're just going to merge this uh, we're going to merge that image down simple right click and here we go we've got our background layer so then what we're going to do is we're going to add we're going to just make it a little bit more my own background so we're going to get an image of me so that people can't steal the background and things like that um, we're going to go into here we're going to copy it in and we're going to leave it where it is because actually it's in the right place and we're just going to go mm, that'll do now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our polygonal tool lasso tool zoom in here first uh, grab our tool and we're just going to cut out me. <laughs> um, so obviously it's going to be a quick job. I'm not going to take my time with it because I don't really have the time. So as you can see here, just doing a quick, simple, obviously you're going to spend more time doing yours so that when people visit your page they're going to go wow. Obviously the thing is your background is something that's yours so if you're gonna do it you might as well do it well and spend the time on it 
because obviously the more detail and the better the background, the more you're going to stand out. You know, I have a lot of people that come to my page and just go, wow, you've got a really nice background, how did you make it and things like that. So I was like, well, I let my little secret out. It's not hard at all. It's one of those, one of those little things that is not complicated at all. It's not hard. If you've got the creativity and you've got the tools to do it, um, then yeah, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. You could, you could just literally have, um, you could just paint a background instead of using images. You can do whatever you want because the possibilities of Photoshop are just endless. It's crazy. So we're just going to go around the image now so that we can block off. Oh, there's my mask popping up there. Um, so that we can literally just rub out the rest of the image, double click, we've got a selection, right click, fit on screen, get our eraser tool and just rub out the background, ta-da, and there we go, we have me in a cloudy background and it looks hideous and horrible, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get a colour pull 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 kicker tool, <laughs> colour picker tool, and we're just going to click on the image and we're just going to get these trousers and what we're going to do is I'm just going to make a new layer drag it under the layer we just made don't worry about naming anything just yet because there's no need and we're just going to kind of drag it down really maybe we need to get a little, a little closer to that colour really let's try that there we go, that'll do. Um, let me run up this bit a bit. And then, hmm, okay, click on this layer. And just quickly, just make it so my hand fades into that colour instead of just cutting off. So that'll do. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to merge the two layers together, merge down. Then we're going to do the same what we did before with the background. So we're going to duplicate the layer and click OK. Then we're going to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Then we're going to hold shift and drag along. Now we've got to find the same point so it's even both sides because my OCD will stab me. Um, and it's about there just after that isn't it? Uh, about there. That'll do. Um, obviously you can be a bit more uh, more proper with your thing and this has popped up. But, um, but yeah obviously that's when we do that. Then what we can do is we're going to get our layer 2. We're going to duplicate it again and we're just going to reduce the opacity down to about 19%. Um, we're going to transform it so we're going to press ctrl T and then we're just going to drag it up here and we're going to hold shift and drag it along just makes everything proportionalized and you want to hit apply and then just rub out but in fact you don't even need to do that you can just literally just drag it behind and then you'll see that um, there's me kind of faded in the background I have messed up and left this horrible bit that I'm going to have to get otherwise it's going to kill me um, and then obviously you can do the same on the other side if you want it doesn't really matter you can have all different things and then what you can do is you go into make a new layer oh, this popped up go away leave you there do whatever you want now what we do is we click a new layer we drag it and just put it above the background clouds and what we can do is we can start getting a little bit more creative so we can start messing around with brushes and drawing. So if I quickly, um, in, I'll show you quickly how to import brushes as well. Um, we click this file, file folder thing up here, and it brings up this thing, you can just click that. Um, then we go for this one here, that's this one here. Um, and then obviously you get all your brushes that you have, and you load, and you find where you have your brushes. So I actually have mine in desktop, Photoshop add-ons and then mine are in brushes. Um, so let's add. Ooh, I don't know. 
I can't even remember what half of these look like to be honest. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just do more our brushes. Here we go, we have the brushes that we have just imported. So I'm just going to use this, we're going to click done. Gonna go back here, gonna scroll down and I don't know, let's use this for instance. Um, it doesn't look quite right for the image in the sense that we've got all these lovely clouds and then we're just going to wreck them up with these shapes that don't really fit in with the whole soft theme but, um, but that doesn't really matter too much we can just start playing around now um, obviously start mixing it up take some colours from the background so it all merges together looks all nice um, kind of want to quickly just avoid this so we're just going to make a new layer and then we're just gonna paint this in doesn't matter just just avoiding it basically so that it's out of the way of everything and then I'm just gonna start um, image we kind of just want to select or we want to inverse so it selects everything else then we can go on this layer and now we can start drawing on this layer and it won't affect any of the other layers above it, uh, below it sorry. So maybe that colour's a little bit too bright for what we want here. So we'll just make it a little bit greyer and we'll make it the opacity down a bit and then there we go that's just right that actually. We'll do the same here and you can see these lovely little lines here are going on and then because we're going towards the middle of the screen, we'll start taking some of these yellowies, these nice cream colours, and we're going to start bringing those in, incorporating them in. Let's go about here-ish. Kind of want to keep overlapping, as it were, and bringing it up and down. Um, so now we're going up a bit, so we kind of want the darker colours, the more central. So we can go about here-ish. Yep, that's about right. And then we're going to go about here. And as you can see, it looks all nice. I actually quite like that, to be honest. Um, I'm going to take, hmm, we can take a bit of this blue now. And we're just going to do the top quickly. So, what we're going to do so we get that, I'm just going to zoom out. There we go. Right, just so that I can start clicking off the page and actually have still draw on the draw on the actual image so we can have it about there there we go it looks just right and then we can just do the same down here there we go and that no, we'll now delete their floor floor layer four um, didn't really need it in the first place to be honest but there we go we have this lovely layer um, what you can do is then a little bit of colour correction, do a bit of curves, just literally just do some contrast, some contrast to the image, RGB, red, that shows the best way to do colour correction in my previous video, if you guys want to check that out, just that it gives you a little hand on how to make images look that a little bit better, but mine are looking a bit, um, not looking quite right really. It doesn't look too bad, but there we go. That's the simple way of making an Ask FM background. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. So, cheers for watching, guys. Peace.